What's up guys, Jim here. Today's video is front discs and pads on your Ford Transit. Let's get started. First off, you're going to need to remove both front wheels. Then on the passenger side, you'll notice a pad wire which goes through the bleed nipple rubber. You'll need to unclip that and unplug it from off the strut. The connector can be quite tough, so you might need to use WD-40 and push it inwards before you pull it out. Next up we need to remove the caliper, do this with a 15mm spanner and a 21mm spanner and undo the slider bolts. There's one at the top of the caliper and one at the bottom of the caliper. Once they're out we can pull the caliper off, it will be quite tight and you might need to use a pry bar to help get it off. Once we've got the caliper off you'll notice inside it's got two pistons and these need to be pushed back at the same time. The easiest way to do this is grab one of the old pads, put it inside the caliper and use a big set of grips to help push them both back at the same time. Now that both the pads are removed we can now remove the caliper carrier which is held in by two 21mm bolts. Once that's off, you'll notice five holes on the discs. Inside those are five T50 torqued bolts that we need to remove next. Once the T50s are out, we're going to get the 36mm socket and undo the centre drive shaft. If yours has a split pin in, you need to remove that first. Not all of them are fitted with that, the later levels don't have a split pin. Once you've removed it, put it back on a couple of threads. This is to stop the disc flying off in the next step and to also protect the drive shaft when we use the punch to tap it back through. So use a hammer to just tap the hub from off the knuckle and then we're going to grab a big punch and a hammer and free the drive shaft from the centre of the hub to enable us to take the assembly off and put it on the floor. Now we can remove the disc from off the hub by undoing the five 13mm bolts that are holding it on from around the hub. Once we've removed all five bolts, grab your hammer again and tap the disc free. And then we can just lift the centre hub from out of the disc. Now we need to grab the caliper carrier, remove all the old pad retaining spring clips, and clean up the surface for the new ones to sit in there. The best way to clean the caliper carrier is using a wire brush and some brake cleaner. Grab the new pad clips from out of the box and before we put them in the space we're going to put a tiny bit of copper grease there. It helps stop the pads seizing in the future. It also helps prevent brake noise. Now fit the new pad retaining clips, make sure to fit them the correct way round. And also now we need to check that the sliders are free. If they're not free you need to remove them and re-grease them, otherwise your pads will prematurely wear. Use your wire brush to also clean the surface where the hub bolts onto. Fit the hub onto the new disc, just nip the bolts up to start off with, we will torque them up shortly. 
Once you've built it back up, torque the 21mm caliper carrier bolts to 180Nm. Remember to fit the new pad wire to the correct pad and the correct way round. And apply a small amount of copper grease to the ends of each pad. You don't need to fill the whole pad with copper grease. Fit the pads into the caliper carrier. When you fit the caliper, use the new bolt supplied in the pad box. Nip the two 15mm caliper bolts to start off with, and then we're going to torque them to 60 newton meters. Now torque the five T50 torque bolts to 70 newton meters and then torque the five 13mm disc bolts to 90 newton meters. Remember to plug in your pad warning wire. Make sure it's in all the way or you'll get a warning light on the dash. Now we're going to tighten up the drive shaft hub nut just until it stops. If yours is one fitted with a split pin, once we have torqued the hub nut up, you will have to put a new split pin back through by removing the wheel again. Remove the centre cap of your alloy if they're fitted and refit your wheels. Lower the van to the floor, put the handbrake on and tighten the hub nut to 500Nm. If you don't have a split pin, refit the centre cap and tighten your wheels to 200Nm. Well that's it for today's video guys, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.